Uh, we look at the fees for Tamil Nadu MDMS seats for government quota now. When we say fee, that is the entire fee that we are going to talk about. Uh, the fee for the application, the fee, security deposit, etc. and the tuition fee. So, application fee is rupees 3000. This exemption for SCST and SEA candidates. You can pay it through debit card, credit card and net banking. What is the application in Tamil Nadu? Application means right now you are applying adding uploading all your uh, certificates etc com submitting uh, after completing your details submitting the entire form you will be part of the merit list if you are eligible they will check all your certificates and you will be part of the merit list saying this person is this rank in the state etc for that you pay 3000 and to be part of the uh, merit list then there is a choice filling choice filling will happen this will this merit list will come in only one week after the application form is over maybe 10 days after the application form is over september third week or fourth week after this, they will start the choice filling, September last week or maybe in October first week. At that time, you have to pay 1000 rupees as the registration fee for choice filling, for giving your choices to the system. You will also pay the security deposit at that time only, not now, later. For government colleges, if you are looking at only at government colleges, I will not take any other seat. I know that this other seat fee is 3.5 lakhs, etc. It is not, I am not interested in those seats. Then I will pay 30,000 and enter the counselling process. During registration for counselling, 1000 plus 30,000 I will pay. If I am looking for private colleges, I will pay 1 lakh. I am only looking at PSG, Vail Amal, etc. I know that I will not get in government institutes. I will pay 1 lakh plus 1,000 rupees. If I am looking at both government colleges, I have a possibility for Tirnalveli. I also have a possibility for PSG. I would like to keep both options open. I am okay with the Tirnalveli fee of 50k. I am also okay with the PSG for fee of 3.5 lakhs plus whatever additional fee, development fee, etc. and all that there is there. Then I will pay 1000 plus 30,000 plus 1 lakh. So you will pay 1.3 lakhs plus 1000 rupees when you are registering for the counseling. Only then you will see private colleges, government colleges seats. Private colleges, is the term used is self-financing in Tamil Nadu, but that is actually the private colleges. ESI, KK Nagar, if I want to fill in choices, I will pay 1 lakh. This is what they told us last year. Candidates also confirmed that. We can also check again this year. So basically, total of 1.3 lakhs for all the seats. This is the security deposit. This amount will not be refunded. This amount will be refunded within three months after the counselling if it is not forfeited. If you discontinue the course later after round two, it will not be refunded. Otherwise, this amount will be refunded. Uh, 1 lakh 30,000 will be refunded. It will not be adjusted against the fee. Note, after you get allotted, you will pay the tuition fee for the government. Government institutes 50,000 per annum. You will pay 50,000 rupees per tuition fee. I am not sure whether they are getting 50,000 or 40,000 now because there is a special fee. This you will pay after you get an allotment. Round 1, I am allotted MD Pediatrics in KAPV Trichy. What will I get? I will go get your, download the allotment letter. Only then I can go to the institute and join. I will have to submit my certificates at the institute and complete the admission process. I will have to pay the fee there, not there. You will pay this to TN Medical Selection Committee online itself. Same login like you have, you will make the payment. And that fee payment will help you get the allotment letter. Only then you will be able to download the allotment letter and take it to KAPV Trichy. So this 50,000 is paid there. Same way, if it is 3.5 lakhs for PSG, before downloading the allotment letter, you pay that to TN Medical Selection Committee. I am paying 3.5 lakhs for PSG's fee, which is the actual tuition fee of PSG. This won't be adjusted against that. I paid 1 lakh already a security deposit. Therefore, I will pay only 2.5 lakhs. No, you will pay 3.5 lakhs. And if you continue with the course, 3 months after the counselling is over, February only, usually the counselling will be over, Jan or February. Maybe in May 2025, they will directly give you that amount. This is a security deposit to ensure that you join the college and continue with the college. That will not be adjusted against the fee. Like we said, for clinicals, private institutes, 3.5 lakhs is the fee. Government, uh, 50,000 is the fee for all courses. This you can pay through net banking, debit or credit card. You can't pay this amount through UPA, 3.5 lakhs because it is higher. Net banking, debit card, credit card is available. RTGS is not available. So ensure that you have a net banking facility because many debit cards, credit card might not have 3.5 lakhs limit or you increase it. That will have a processing charge etc. if you are doing it through debit card. Net banking, no additional charge. Ensure that you have a limit of 3.5 lakhs in case you are looking at private institutes pay fee payment. Did, uh, last time they did not allow RTGS. We are yet to check on how it will happen this year. Deduction for resigning after round 3. After round 3 starts at that time, they will give you a deadline just before round 3 starts. If you resign after round 3 starts, 
or leave the seat after the round 2 prescribed deadline. I am leaving the seat. After R2, they will tell you, you have joined a seat in round 2. Then they will tell you, by this date, you can resign without any security deposit forfeiture, penalty, etc. If you resign, no problem. You can still participate in round 3. But if I have joined an R2, that timeline I did not resign and I went ahead. After that, if you resign, you will forfeit the security deposit paid, this amount. Tuition fee will be forfeited. Discontinuation fee of 15 lakhs need to be paid. So, 15 lakhs to be paid and only then they will get back your certificates or they will allow you to move out. So, this also, there is might also be an institute wise penalty. If you resign after, let us say, fifth round, uh, after the course starts, then institute might ask you for three years fee that will, you will have to check with the institute too. 15 lakhs anyways you need to pay to DME if you discontinue at a later point in time.